It's that special time of year again, but for many divorced couples, the holidays can mean arguments, miscommunication, and anger. You have the opportunity to spare your child the pain of conflict with some planning and compromise. Because what does it look like otherwise? In my years as a divorce attorney and representing children in custody cases, I've seen children attend holiday shows two nights in a row and never tell the other parent that they've already seen it. The child pretends it's a new experience for them to avoid causing an argument between her parents or hurt feelings. I've also seen gifts duplicated and a child has to feign excitement when he opens the repeat gift. I've seen arguments ensue because one parent purchased something the other parent didn't approve of, think cell phone. I've seen children have to eat two dinners on Christmas Eve. The holidays after divorce are going to look a little different. There's no way to avoid it. But you can start to put things into place to avoid the conflict. Start early. Start communicating about holidays at least a month in advance. Add special events to a shared calendar so both parents are aware of the, of the event. Are there school events? Are there events that you'd like your child to attend but it's not your parenting night? Consider all of those options as you look at the holiday calendar because you're going to have to be flexible here because the holiday has all kinds of things that disrupt the regular parenting schedule. And remember, communication is key. If you start early enough, you can map out the month, exchange parenting time, and agree so no one misses out on anything. But here's the catch. If you want your ex to be accommodating, you need to be as well. It works both ways. For example, if there's an event that both of you would enjoy attending for the benefit of your child, think about how you both can be involved. Can you divide up tasks associated with the event? Can you share pictures? Can you put aside your differences for one hour so that your child sees both parents are in attendance as a united front? Now, all of this looks different because of the COVID situation, but you can take this with you for, for years going forward. The point is, don't make it stressful for your child. You have an opportunity to enjoy something with your child just as much as you can ruin it for her. Does that sound harsh? Perhaps, but it's the truth. Also, talk about gifts early. When parents don't communicate about gifts for Christmas, conflict can occur. Feelings will be hurt. Your child will be in the middle of it as she tries to express excitement over a gift that she just received from the other parent or maybe from a relative of the other parent. So here are some things to think about as you prepare for gift giving. What has your child expressed to you that they want for the holidays? Have you communicated that with the other parents to make sure you guys are on the same page? Is the gift something that will remain in one home, like a trampoline or basketball hoop, and then it doesn't matter what the other parent is doing or if they get the same thing? But if it's something that will move with your child, like clothing or stuffed animal, then you have to work together to make sure there isn't a duplicate of it. So is it a big gift? Is it an individual or joint gift? How much will it cost? Who should pay for it? Is the other parent also purchasing it? Are there other gifts that are off limits? So like a phone, for example, that's a common one that parents disagree on. Are you purchasing a gift that requires rules? How long should your child be allowed to play the video game each day? Are you two on the same page with that? Is a relative purchasing the gift? Do you see how easily arguments can erupt if you're not communicating? Listen, your kids are growing up so fast. Don't we say that all the time? So let's let their memories of the holidays be fond ones. If you want my free holiday guide, just head on over to Instagram and the link is in my bio and you can find me there at Ms. Renee Bauer. See you soon.